Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Next week, crews in the seven counties of Highway District 12 will remove signs that are illegally erected on state property. It is illegal to place a sign on state right-of-way. It is also illegal to attach a sign to a structure already installed on state right-of-way. Highway workers have an ongoing directive to remove such signs from roadsides and intersections. It doesn't matter whether it's a yard sale sign that's taped to a stop sign. It doesn't matter if it's a political sign, a sign for a private business. No signs are supposed to be on state right-of-way. Warmer weather means that maintenance crews will be cleaning out ditch lines, replacing cross drains, and mowing. Illegal signs interfere with that work and also slow the process of litter cleanup. A proliferation of signs also causes problems not just for mowing and ditching activities, but also for sight distance. There are some places at intersections where you'll have a proliferation of signs and it's hard to pull out. It's hard to see traffic coming. The signs will be at the nearest maintenance garage for 30 days for the business owner or individual to pick up. We recognize that some people have a lot invested in these signs and we're not trying to cause them any hardship. The sign removal blitz is set for March 26th through the 30th. District 12 includes Lawrence, Johnson, Floyd, Martin, Knott, Pike, and Letcher counties. In Pikeville, Shelby Porter, EKB News.